Yes everyone and welcome to my channel. I've finally gone to Italy and let's talk about it. One of my main motivations to go to Italy was to try the food and I was not disappointed. The number one thing on the list that I wanted to try was pizza because Italy is the godland of pizza. However, what I noticed was that the pizza that I had was super thin. I've never had pizza that thin in my entire life before. It is not the most scrumptious, delicious, mouth-watering pizza I've ever had, but it is good. However, the highlight for me is that pizza in Italy is relatively cheap. It's very cheap in fact. I got a pizza for around 7 euros and I got a drink with it. Number 2, paninis. A lot of us are accustomed to eating paninis, sandwiches, Italian sandwiches. However, there this funny thing happened whilst I was uh, at a shop, pizza pizzeria. So I looked at the menu and I said I want a pan I want a panini. So lady was like, due panini, tre come, quanti panini? In essence, she was asking two, three, how many panis do you want? And I said, ma un panini, like one panini. She's like, ma no un, ma, un, un panino e uno, ma due panini e due panini e due. So so she's, so in essence, what she's saying is that uh, panini means plural, so more than one. While panino means Singular, so it's one panini. And the second thing here what, that I found weird or interesting is that the panini or the panino that I got was circular. In France, they are usually like baguettes, like long, yeah, but super delicious. Number three, spaghetti, and uh, yeah, spaghetti. So <laughs> the popular thing to say regarding Italian pasta spaghetti is that it needs to be al dente. And what I found interesting is that the way the pasta tastes is the same way I do it at home, so it is in fact al dente. Um, but what I did learn though is that you can add nuts to pasta. I had no idea you could have, you could do that. So when I got home, I actually tried that, and it was mwah, mamma mia, delicioso. It was quite delicious, so that was pretty good. I actually lived up my food fantasy in Italy. Number four, I believe it's number four. Italian pastry. Italian pastry are scrumptious, they're delicious. I don't remember all of the names, but um, this one here with the cream, it's it's the best of what I've tasted so far. It's yummy, it's scrumptious, and it uses sort of ricotta cheese, if I'm not mistaken. And then this one here with the green circle, uh, that's, it's, it's delicious, there's not much to say. And the final one is also delicious, but it's chocolate, that's all I'll say. Uh, and the price is quite reasonable. I believe for all of these I paid around 11 euros if I'm not mistaken. Number five I suppose, uh, Italians for breakfast often have a sort of croissant with uh, I think sugar on top or something of the sort. I didn't have that. So what I had was a cornel con pistachio. So that is just a sort of croissant with uh, pistachio filling and it was, mm, it was divine. There's one interesting thing about Italy that blows my mind and it's the fact that you can, eat, you can eat bread with oil, bread and olive oil. The first time I heard about this Italian delicacy was while I was in Spain and I, I scoffed a little bit I suppose. And the thing is I tried it in Spain, it was okay, maybe it was okay because I was being culturally open. However, in Italy it tastes different, trust me, before I would say no, nah, hell no. Hell no. But honestly, the olive oil that they serve in Italy with the bread, it's different. It's not like your typical olive oil, I suppose. It's, it's delicious. I reckon that you can even drink it, I suppose. And uh, in addition to this, um, we also had a bread with tomatoes and olive oil. I've never had that before. Prior to going to Italy, I would never eat that, to be honest. It's not a dish for me, but the way it was done was simply rich. And finally, uh, what a friend of mine introduced me to was spritz. It's um, first of all, it's it's under the umbrella of aperitivo, and you have a sort of drink which is soda plus alcohol and a fruit. I had orange. I don't know if it's always orange, so this gave it like a bitter taste. And with that, you have like a sort of platter with small things to eat. And this was quite interesting. And that cost around ten euros. The first platter had meat, so I didn't really eat anything off it save the pizza. And then I got another one which had things that I could eat. So all in all, I would say Italian cuisine is quite spectacular. And how could I forget the gelato? I needed an ice cream. 
<laughs> Honestly, I don't know if it's the best in the world or the best I've ever had, but this Allen ice cream that I had was simply spectacular. I loved it. I didn't complain. It was good. Mmm, delicioso. I suppose next time I go to Italy, I'll like try another city and see how things taste. So with that said, um, go to Italy and try your food. And if you are Italian, uh, you can let me know in the comments down below. And if you've been to Italy before, let me know where you've been and what was your favorite dish. With that said, like, share, subscribe, and that's you next time. Ciao, ciao. Here I go again.